Hey everybody, this year we want everybody at AMS and CWSA to succeed academically. Part of that means learning academic skills to manage your learning. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this online planner called an assignment tracker that we'll be using in grades six through eight this year. So first question on how you get your planner is check with your advisory teacher. They will be sharing that with you in a file through Schoology and then you'll be able to get the file to work with. So once you've got the file, then we're jumping into the next steps of sharing that and setting it up. So the file that your teacher is going to share with you is currently called AMS Assignment Tracker. However, you can't do anything with it. It's view only at this point. So you need to make your own copy of this and then share it with your teacher. Here's how that goes about. First of all, come over to this and click on File. Once you go to File, click on Make a Copy. So right now it says Copy of AMS Assignment Tracker and go ahead and delete where it says Copy of AMS and put your name in some form. So I, my name is Nathan Black and so I'm going to go N Black Assignment Tracker. I could also say Nathan Black, whatever, this works. I'm hitting Make a Copy and then this new copy I have is going to be one that just is mine and then I can go ahead and edit it. So first thing before you go any further, please go in the upper right hand corner, the green button that says share, click on that and then type in your advisory teacher's name. If my advisory teacher is Bill Parks, I'm going to go ahead and type in, in this case it comes up for me, Bill Parks and then hit send. At this point, my advisory teacher should now, your advisory teacher will now have a copy of your assignment tracker because they're going to work with you on this pretty much every week. Okay, so you've renamed your file, you've shared this with your teacher. The other step you want to do right here is where it says your name here, put your actual name. So again, my name is Nathan Black, I'm putting Nathan Black. And at this point, your planner is pretty much up and ready to go. All right. You've saved a copy of your planner, you've shared it with your teacher, and now let's get into the nuts and bolts on how to use it. So the first step right here is you need to customize your classes for what is on your schedule. So look down at the bottom of the page and you're going to see the second tab says subjects. I'm going to click there and I'm going to make sure I personalize this. Let's say that I am in eighth grade. I'm I might go ahead and put Spanish because I've got Senor O'Donnell right in there or I will put in health as I've got Mr. Carroll. So I've got those set up and I'm going to set this up to reflect my schedule. Now I'm going to click back over to assignments. That's the first tab down at the bottom of the page. From here, I'm now ready to use it. So now I'm coming into my English class and they've assigned me a topic about how uh, writing a narrative about myself. So I'm going to come in here I'm going to click on subject, see all my choices, and I'm going to click English. The assignment is narrative about me. So whatever the title is, put it right in here. Now at this point, I get to choose my status. Notice I can go not started, in progress, skipped, and done. So at the front end of when you're putting this in, pretty much everyone's going to go with not started. That's going to look different for everybody as you go along, but let's start with not started. This next column is an important one. This S time stands for estimated time. So before you're putting in here, think about how long do you think this is going to take for you to complete this assignment. In this particular case, I'm going to guess about 20 minutes. Now this might be different for different people, but I need you to go on the record and think, okay, about how long is it going to take? So next step where it says, I've got two things left, start date and due date. So Today, if you double click on these fields, it's automatically going to come up with a calendar and today's date is going to be highlighted. So if, you're, if today's date is August 31st, I'm going to click there and then that just comes up. And the final step is I'm going to say, okay, when's this due? I'm going to double click and I find I found out this is going to be due at the, uh, at the end of next week and so that will be September 9th. So I'm going to click on there and that's going to come up. Okay, and that basically is how I would go ahead and put this in. All right, that's how you use a planner and you're good to go. So if you have any questions, check in with any of your teachers and let's go ahead and work and get better at this as the year goes on. All right, you take care.